Hey everyone, it's Matt. Welcome back. It is um, Friday afternoon, uh, December 30th, Chris, uh, Christmas, geez, New Year's Eve Eve. Um, I'm on today because uh, Notre Dame, of course, they play in the Gator Bowl today against the uh, Gamecocks of South Carolina. Um, so I figure, hey, let's make it official. Let's put official end on the uh, Notre Dame 2022 football season with another uh, pregame review. And today, Writer's Tears Copper Pot. Writer's Tears Copper Pot. Man, this expression alone is, is worth the 30 something dollars. <laughs> very, very, very approachable and affordable. Writer's Tears is a creation of husband and wife team Bernard and Rosemary Walsh, who, um, who, who created Walsh Whiskey um, in 99. Um, they are responsible for um, their two major brands are Writer's Tears and The Irishman. Um, two craft Irish whiskeys. The, these Bernard and Rosemary are, are on the forefront of the Irish whiskey revival, especially at the turn of the century here. Um, Bernard Walsh um, has recently sold, um, last year I want to say, to um, Amber Beverage Group. He sold Walsh whiskey to Amber Beverage Group. Who mainly does, or who mainly owns a lot of vodka and tequila? I believe Writer's Tears was the first whiskey that they bought. I could be wrong, but I know Amber Beverage Group is new to the whiskey market, so we'll, we'll see. I know Bernard and, and his wife are still a major, major part of Writer's Tears. Um, I chose this one today. Um, as you can see, it's almost empty. Um, I'm, I'm going to perform what I call, or what we call, a bottle kill. So it's fitting that I do this one on what is the last game of the Notre Dame season, like I said earlier. So we kill the season, we kill this bottle of Irish whiskey, and I love this one. This this particular one, the Copper Pot, it is a um, meticulous blend of single pot still and single malt Irish whiskeys. Um, at the time, it was distilled at the Royal Oak Distillery in County Carlo. So, um, so for now, that's all I got on this. This is bottled at 40% ABV. Uh, there's no age statement on it. Um, so, again, with all Irish whiskeys, minimum three years. Uh, but let's give this one a go. This bottle will be empty here in not too short time. When we look, this was distilled in copper pots, so you know you're going to get that deep, literally copper color to it. Uh, it's just a beautiful liquid. And first glance on the nose, I'm getting strong apple with some brown sugar and vanilla in there. Um, very sweet on the on the nose. And you can tell with the single pot still in there, it does hug the glass very nice, very, very leggy down the side of that glass. So let's launch it. So on the back of the tongue, right off the bat, I get a little almond, uh, almond oil, maybe a um, little maple syrup, some spice. And some vanilla. I don't get any of that apple or any orchard fruits like I did in, in the nose, but it's a very, very pleasant, very pleasant palate. So this is such a magnificent, magnificent sip of whiskey. I really do enjoy this one. And like I said, for the price, I, mean, I could buy this one every week and it's not, it's not going to hurt the wallet at all. Uh, the finish is very long. Beautiful finish, just lingering notes of maple syrup, spice, vanilla, and the apple comes back a little bit, but not too much. Um, if you guys can find this one in your store, highly recommended. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Again, especially for the price, 34 35 whatever this one is. Um, the, the blend of single pot still and single malt, it, it's unmatchable. This is this is a very well done Irish whiskey. Um, for the game today, the Gator Bowl, 
you know, who knows what to think, you know, with, with all these kids opting out for their reason, you know, I don't get mad at it like some people do. I honestly don't care if they opt out. It's their body, their potential earnings, what do I care? I'm just a fan. Just go win, baby, right? Um, so there'll be no excuses. I won't make excuses uh, if Notre Dame loses, which it's a bowl game, so, and, you know, that's possible. Uh, Spencer Rattler for South Carolina, their quarterback, he's good. He's going to have no weapons today. I, I, I want to maybe 11 players for South Carolina have opted out of today's Gator Bowl. Uh, Notre Dame's going to be without Michael Mayer, you know, their legendary tight end. He'll be in the NFL next year, first-round pick. Isaiah Foskey, uh, Notre Dame's all-time leading sacker. Uh, he'll be a first-round pick most likely next year. Uh, so those are the two big names Notre Dame will be without. Um, Drew Pine, you know, he entered the portal and transferred to Arizona State. Um, so we get Tyler Buckner back. So this will be interesting. Um, I expect Marcus Freeman to do everything he can to win this game today. Um, this game probably means a lot to him, especially the way the Fiesta Bowl went last year for him. Oh, maybe it's the Fiesta Bowl. Oh, crap. Um, anyway, the game against Ohio State, uh, Oklahoma State. Um, I think nine wins for Marcus. It's not what I thought it would be. You know, I thought we'd have more. I thought we'd be an 11, 12, 13, 14 win team. Who knows? Anyway, I think he needs this. I think he wants this. Al Golden wants this on the defense. Again, Notre Dame's not going to make excuses. So they're going to go out there to play to win. We'll see what happens. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. As always, go Irish. Slotcha.